welcome back to another video. It's your girl Nezzy and today I'm going to be showing you guys the speed build to the epic loft room I built. After posting the tour, so many of you guys wanted me to rebuild this thing and post the speed build. So that's exactly what we're doing. Alright, let's get started. To make the loft, you're going to need these classic U stairs. Next thing to do is place the walls exactly like this. And that's pretty much all you need to do to make the loft. Now let's give it a room. For this part, you could choose any window you want, but I prefer to choose the round one. Next up, grab the large stone wall and place it. You might notice that the window is glitching through the stone wall. The only way to fix that is to make the stone wall the same color as the window. For the seating in the custom bay window, I'm going to use this table to help me face the chairs in the right direction. Now let's go ahead and put the TV in the wall. In order to do that, all you have to do is place this TV on the shelf using large grid. Then move it into place using small grid. If you don't get it right the first time, just try again. You don't want it to stick out that much, so let's go ahead and push it back a bit. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, so at this point, I realize that the closet is slightly larger than the original. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. When I started to build the built-in storage in the closet, I did notice that the closet was still slightly bigger than the original, but I just decided to keep it. with carpet but then I noticed that on top of the loft there was actually some glitching happening so I decided to go with wood instead and as far as the painting goes I did start off with a much darker green but I'm gonna end up with a more pastel green in the end in place it should be sticking out just a little bit. In order to conceal that all you have to do is use storage or just place a wall around it. Now I'm going to put some custom lighting in place. lighting would look like. Now let's take it up a notch by using these neon lights. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a custom fan. The best way to make this fan is to basically turn your lights off. Now let's build the turtle terrarium. Of course we're going to need a turtle. What should we name him? water dish, I'm going to use this soap.
you've ever had a pet reptile, then you know all too well that they need a basking light. So I'm gonna create that using this desk lamp. Here's a fun fact, I actually own two turtles, but they're aquatic turtles, so they live in a tank with water. Over here I'm going to bring in my custom toy box. If you want a detailed tutorial on this, make sure to check out tips, tricks, and DIY designs number 3. and watch TV, I'm gonna place this stump. At this point, I felt like the green was a little bit too dark, so I decided to go with a much lighter green. Since this room has a little bit more space than the original, I decided to go ahead and put a desk. on top of the nightstand and slide it under the desk. That will give the illusion that the book is sitting on top of a magazine or even a comic book. And now I'm going to start creating the baseboards using the oak shelf. Corner, I'm going to create a small reading nook. And now I'm going to create a custom little chair. If you want a detailed tutorial on this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll include it in my tips, tricks, and DIY designs videos. Now the room is pretty much built, let's go ahead and add our final touches.
wrap for this video. If you liked it, let me know by smashing that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. And if you'd like to hang out with me between uploads, make sure to follow my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. All under Nessie Plays Roblox. I'll see you guys next time.